Hey there YouTube, just a garage hack here with another do-it-yourself video. I've been working on my 2009 Ford F-250 Super Duty and I've been wanting to be able to get into more options in the coating process in case I needed to change the injectors out. I could plug in the injector identification numbers and other things like that that my normal code reader or my uh, code scanner would not work. There's a program out there on the internet called Forescan. Forescan is a uh, inexpensive program that you can download to a Windows based computer that will allow you to work on uh, Ford vehicles, Mazda vehicles and you'll be able to access some features that you otherwise wouldn't be able to on your basic readers and scanners unless you had a, a four or five thousand dollar machine or, or a more expensive machine. Uh, for scan you can download, you get it uh, like a month or two for free, then you can get an extended license for twelve dollars and that gives you a year. So that's pretty inexpensive. You just have to have your own laptop and you have to have either a Bluetooth device or you have to have a USB device and Forescan on their website recommends one of two devices. They recommend an OBD link device or they represent they rep recommend a V-Linker FS USB device. I ordered this off Amazon and I got it in and I was trying to figure out the instructions. The instructions are very basic. They're not very clear and I'm one of those guys that I've got to have it explained to me uh, on a computer pretty clearly so I can figure it out. So I struggled a little bit. I went out to YouTube trying to find a video to tell me how to do it. The first thing you have to do is install the drivers for this device. And then after that, they recommend that you update the firmware to the device. So I was looking for a video that specifically did that and I was unable to do that. So I wanted to make one for you so that I can help anybody else that's struggling with this. So when you get the device, you're gonna open it up. It's gonna be in a static bag, okay? You're gonna pull it out and of course it's a UB, USB device uh, and it's an OBD connector and that's what you got there. And it comes with some really basic instructions um, and I was able to at least uh, kind of fumble around with these instructions to try to get me to where I needed to go. But the first thing that you need to do with this particular device is you got to make sure that you have uh, you get Forescan downloaded onto your laptop okay and once you get that downloaded there you need to install the drivers for this particular uh, V-Linker FS USB so have my camera guy come over here they do give you a website it's this one here ftdichip.com and so you you go to that particular website and you find drivers and you're going to go down to VCP drivers, right? Now, it's going to give you an option on these particular drivers that you're going to need. Um, Forescan only runs on Windows-based machines. So those of you with Mac, don't get excited. You're not going to be able to run Forescan on your Mac, although there are Mac drivers for this particular USB device. Windows desktop is what I'm going to use here. Um, you can download from this link right here 64-bit uh, or if you have a, an older computer with 32-bit uh, processors, but mostly everybody's going to have that. I have downloaded this one and it was of no help to me. You might be able to make it work, but I was unable to get it to work. So I went over here to where it says available as a setup executable and I downloaded that one. All right. Now remember, these are the drivers for the device. When we go into our downloads, and we've got it right here. Okay, now your Windows device, you're going to need to extract that because it's in a zip file. So you'll do extract all, choose that. Okay, now. Now you've got your USB driver setup program right here. All right, so you would double click that. Give it permission to run. Extract those. You'll 
agree to the agreement. Boom, now you've installed your drivers to the device, okay? Now, they recommend that the next thing that you do is to update the firmware, and that's update the firmware. So in order to do that, you gotta go to a different website, and that's from the VGate. It's uh, vgatemall.com, vgatemall.com. Go over here to Support Download Center, all right? And you go down here. Now, this is a little confusing because I couldn't figure out what all this stuff meant right here, all right? But basically, these are different models of devices. A V-Linker FS Bluetooth, V-Linker FS USB. Okay, so this is what we have. We have a V-Linker FS USB, so we want to download that, all right? Now we go back to our downloads folder. We find that particular file that we just downloaded. And we're gonna extract that. Okay, you're gonna hit extract. You're gonna open that up. Now here's your, here's your program. This is your executable, okay? But before you do that, connect the device to your USB port on your laptop. The computer should recognize the device and then you're going to hit VLinker FW Updater. It's going to, Windows is going to tell you that we don't recognize this program but go ahead and continue run anyway. Now because we have a USB device, we hit USB, and we find out where it's at. It's connected to USB port 3, COM3. We want to set our baud rate at 115200 according to the instructions, all right, according to the instructions. Now, we want to find the firmware file. The firmware file is going to be in that folder, and it's going to be this one, and it's going to be a text document. It's going to be a text document. That is your firmware file, right? So you'll hit that and hit open, and you'll do update. And you just wait for that green bar to go. You'll notice that it's writing to the USB device because your lights on here are turned on. We'll let that keep going and keep going. When it gets all the way to the end, it'll tell you what, that it's been completed. All right, we're getting close. Watch our screen up here. File download finished. That means that we've got her done, all right? So we just click out of that, and now we have, we have updated the firmware. We, well, first off, we've installed the drivers, and now we've updated the firmware, and you're good to go. You should be able to go now and take your, your laptop out to your vehicle, you should be able to take your USB OBD connector, plug it into the uh, OBD port on your vehicle, and you should be able to connect with Forescan. There are other videos out there that tell you how, once you've got this step done and you're connected to the vehicle, there are real good videos out there how, to show you what to do after this process. But this really basic, but I really couldn't find really good instructions out there on the internet and I thought I'd make this video for you.